What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Lydia. Thanks for tuning in. So for today's video, I just wanted to test out this product right here. I'm about like a couple months late to the game, but either way, it's new to me and I still think it's relatively new. Um, it's the Miel Pure Simple Natural pomegranate and honey curling custard and I picked this up and I showed y'all when I got this during my curly hair haul um, and this was a product recommendation from one of y'all y'all told me I should try this out especially since I like the Camille Rose Naturals curl maker this is kind of similar to it apparently but apparently y'all said that it has like a medium hold so we'll see what we're working with um, I haven't really used or touched this product outside of just opening the lid and smelling it it smells so good oh my god it smells like literally pomegranate and honey I guess it smells like something you would literally pick up at Bath and Body Works like a lotion or a candle or something it smells amazing so I'm really excited to put this in my hair but either way I washed detangled deep conditioned my hair all that good stuff I kind of wanted to set it up for success that's what I usually like to do whenever I try a new product I don't just like do a regular wash or whatever I make sure my hair is nicely conditioned deep conditioned and detangled so I'm rooting for this this guy right here hopefully he treats me well, but enough with the rambling, let's get started. So I just took my hair out of the t-shirt. Um, it's still pretty damp, it's still pretty wet, but this is what my hair looks like with zero product on. So just to give you guys a little bit of close up. So this is what my hair looks like. So now I'm just going to take my trusty dusty clip and basically clip up my hair. So hair's all clipped up, um, and I'm just taking small sections. I basically like to work from the back of my head to the front of my head in small sections, and I'll just rake the product through. Um, what I do like to do with each section is I like to make sure my hair is wet, like very wet. Um, so even though it's damp now, I like for it to be even more wet. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of a water spray. If you guys have seen like my past wash and go routines or curly hair routines, this is basically my go-to method. And now I don't really know how much is too much so I'm just going in with if you can tell a little bit basically this much a product and I'm just gonna rake it in to my hair so first impression great slip my hair does not feel rough or anything so and what I mean by slip if you don't know what that means is basically how easily the product glides through your hair so um, just to let y'all know I'm going in with a little bit more product like this and I'm gonna rake it in a little bit more. So basically what I like to do is I just finger comb my hair like this and then I smooth it and yeah that's pretty much it. So let's just give you guys an up close shot of the curls. So this is what the curls are looking like right now. Um, I'm gonna continue to do my hair um, in the same exact method, I'm basically just going to take the product little by little and rake it through my hair section by section, working my way all the way up to the front. Um, the biggest test, which I always say with any product, is how well it works in the front of my hair and the middle section of my hair, where it tends to be like the most difficult. But either way, I'm just going to continue to rake this product all throughout my hair, and I'll check in with you guys once I get to like the middle section of my head. <laughs> I'm at the middle section of my hair and this part of my hair is a lot more dense, a lot thicker than the hair like closer to my neck and y'all comment down below if you have like the same situation as me where your hair texture is not the same all throughout like the back of your hair will be like one type of way and then the middle of your hair will be one type of way and then the front of your hair will be one type of way I mean it's completely normal so if you ever feel like that trust me you ain't alone because I struggle with the same thing um, but it's fine as long as your hair is healthy who cares if you have different types of textures in your hair um, and my hair is completely healthy I have no heat damage no nothing it's just the way God made my hair grow so I really have no complaints but um, besides that point um, I am going in with a little bit more product in this part of my hair but it's not even that much a little does go 
a long way um, with this curling custard which I'm very happy about because that means I won't like go through this product quickly um, and I'm even noticing with the parts of my hair that I have already done like it's not really frizzing up like nothing really looks crazy it's not really drying up in any kind of weird way so so far so good I mean obviously the end result is going to be once it's completely dry or you know trying to see how it's drying so we'll see as we go throughout Y'all, this stuff is so good. Like, do you see this definition? And it's so shiny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at her. Oh, oh, oh my God. Look at her curls. Pretty soon, I'ma take your phone. Or you shall hide it in your pockets until you get home. Don't wanna see no tweets about the night we shared. Don't wanna hear reasons for it, baby. So right now we're basically all done. I still need to like part my hair the way I want it to be parted and touch up the pieces just to make sure that there's no frizz or anything like that. But I'll do a quick little spin just so you guys can see the final result. Um, I'm pretty freaking happy with it. I always get pretty scared whenever I try a new product just because, you know, you never know if it's going to work. Did I waste my money? X, Y, and Z. Is it going to make my hair turn into like a crazy puffball? But either way, um, this is basically what I'm working with so far. So I'm going to go part my hair, touch up the pieces, and then I'll catch back with y'all once I'm done doing that. So my hair is all parted and everything. I basically took a little bit more of the curling custard and touched up any pieces over here that kind of got out of place or a little bit frizzy once I parted my hair. Um, and now I'm basically going in with the almond oil and avocado curl control and shine mist from Design Essentials. This is like my secret weapon in terms of like setting in my hair and it really does make a difference in terms of like how long my wash and go lasts. So I'm just gonna do some sprays just like this. I really don't have any rhyme or reason. I just like to get like the top layer and then a little bit behind. And then once I'm done with all of that, I just take some of my orchid oil spray and I just kind of seal in everything. And it kind of just gives me a little bit more of a shine. So then when my hair is all dry, it looks good. It looks luscious. It looks shiny, healthy, all that good stuff. And I'm basically just going to let my hair air dry. I don't really like to use a diffuser or anything like that. I really don't put any heat in my hair. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry. I'll probably do a little check-in with y'all once it's like 50% dry so you guys can see what it looks like once it's starting to dry because usually curly hair products kind of look good maybe when they're at this state but then once they start to dry they could completely go south. But you know, let's just say a quick little prayer. Lord, please pray that my hair dries and looks cute. Amen. So either way, I'm just going to let this air dry, sit down, probably eat, watch some YouTube videos, and I'll check in with you guys once my hair is a little bit more dry. But here's one last little spin around. Voila. So see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, y'all. So it's been a couple of hours. It's 5.06. Um, and I just wanted to do like one last little check-in for y'all um, and I would say you know my hair is pretty much dry the front part of my hair is pretty much 100% dry it's mostly just like this back middle section of my hair that is still pretty wet and usually takes the longest to dry no matter what um, but my final impressions are that my hair looks good it looks fine it looks shiny there's only like one part like right here that pretty much acted kind of weird the curls didn't really clump together and it just feels super frizzy and, and whatnot um, which kind of bums me out but that could just be because I didn't put enough product in my hair um, I'll probably touch it up and see if that makes a difference and I'll probably like update y'all somewhere in the description box to see if it did um, but either way will I buy this product again honestly no I think I like the curl maker um, a lot more and I'd rather save my coins and put my coins to that than like buying this. Um, but that's just me um, and I'm also just very picky with my hair and kind of stubborn. Once I like a particular product, I'm very, very particular with it. Um, and I would also say that this isn't really a, a dupe for the curl maker. I would say this product is a lot similar to the um, As I Am Curling Jelly. This one may give a little bit more hold in the curling jelly, which I personally love a lot more. I think I would reach towards this one more than the curling jelly now um, that I've tried it out. So that's kind of a plus. But either way, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've tried this product out and what your thoughts were. Um, and let me know if there's any other products you guys want me to try out and film for y'all. But either way, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And, you know, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. I won't hate you if you don't, but I'll love you if you do. Thank you again for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.